Boah, boah. By the way, when you're watching this, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your loved ones. Oh, I love Thanksgiving. All right, I am uh, on a quick lunch break on Wednesday, heading back to Roadrunner Sports. And guys, in the 21st century, I fully believe that companies, including running shoe stores and running shoe companies, the ones that will survive and win in the modern world because there's so much competition out there now are the ones that emphasize customer service. I love customer service. A couple days ago, an employee from Roadrunner Sports reached out to me on Strava and said, hey, I saw your video about the Levitate 2 and the ugly sweater, go watch it, upper right hand corner. I liked this shoe in the store. When I got home and I ran around the streets of Denver for you know three miles, the rubber through the midsole, I just couldn't get over it. I, 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 I don't, I can't, I can't do it, I can't do it. So she said, come back in and we will take care of you. Find a shoe that will help with your plantar fasciitis. Anyway, here we go. We're going into the Roadrunner Sports. Thank you for taking care of me. And uh, it's sad. Bah humbug, but they gotta go back. They gotta go back. I got a lump of coal in these guys. No, they're a great shoe, and I'm sure there's some Levitate 2 fans out there, but you get, you're picking up what I'm putting down. All right, come on. Patrick taking care of me. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Look so we at this. got a few things. Okay. Um, this one did not have the eight and a half unless it's somewhere lurking out here. Is that the Vongo? Um, this is the 890. 890. Yep. Got it. I did have the Vongo. Okay. Definitely worth a shot. Clifton. Okay. Huge success with plantar fascia issues. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, and that was that was like, for Jessica. Okay. Um, and then you had mentioned you like the Peg Turbo. Yes, I love it. Yeah, big fan of the Turbo. Yeah, nice. I'm a big so, fan. I brought the Epic React. It's got the Epic. So many shoes, so little time. What, what to do, what to do. I can't even tell you, YouTube, that I was almost in tears running up and down here because it, because it felt, no, because it felt so good. No, because the, the, the Clifton 5 felt so good, and this was Jessica's recommendation. Because you had planter a year ago, basically. And a little flare up. Yeah. About uh, two months ago. Okay, yeah. and that went away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I put those on and just wore those for like a month, and okay. it, it was gone. Okay. Yeah, I didn't have any problems. So I've also run in some Nikes recently, as you've seen. Like, I, actually, I love the Turbo right now. And the planter feels pretty good in it, not perfect, but, um, and then I guess I should also mention the, I tried the Vongo today, and I thought it felt similar to this. It's a little more stability, but. Especially when you get a few miles in on the Vongo, you're really gonna feel all of that. So do we have a Vongo here? Yep, it's right here. Um, you'll really feel that offset. Okay. Because if you look at that, there's so much more cushion concentrated oh, on this side. Okay. So when you first try it on, you probably notice like it feels a little stiffer, but as you get to running in it, it's really going to kind of guide you this way. Okay. And so that might cause a little Some bit issue. of issue, especially because you're running in neutral so well. Yep. Um, this might kind of make things a little Okay. Funky. That's interesting. Um, but this is a really great guidance shoe for people who want that motion, a little bit of motion control without being too aggressive because it doesn't have an actual medial post in it. Yeah. It's just this section of foam is a lot more air padded okay. to guide your foot a little bit more to the outside if you usually tend to roll to the inside when you run. Got it. Um, and, and how does that compare to this guy? So, so this? Yeah, the Clifton. Yeah. Um, this one is just more fluid throughout. It doesn't yep. have as much concentrated 
cushioning and support on this side of the shoe so okay. it's just a little wider on the base throughout the bottom of the shoe and it's got that little bit of a meta rocker yeah. um, so it's just going to help your foot turn over a lot easier it takes a lot of the stress out of that plantar fascia region of your foot yeah. because you're not flexing so much in the shoe to toe off okay it's like yeah i'm just trying to like if you picture your foot planting down barefoot and how yep. all the tendons are stretching and your arch is collapsing, this one will just cradle your foot more. It's not going to let your foot flex so much. So okay. it's just, it's a lot nicer glide. <laughs> I can't even tell you. Can't even tell you. Like, <laughs> it was crazy how good it felt. I was, I told Patrick, like, I just, I just shook his hand because I was like so happy. So I think like they, it felt good in both, Yeah. but I'll probably lean toward that guy. At least while you're recovering, just exactly. because it is a lot of shoe. If you're used to running in a lighter, faster shoe like the Beacon or the Vaporfly, um, something that just gives you a lot more pop and a lot more ground feel, you don't get any ground feel in this shoe, but that's why it's so great for right. recovering from planner. Right. Um, and yeah, I use it as a trainer. Um, I haven't raced in it or anything, but yeah. I've worn it you know, to walk and everything. <laughs> What's that mean? That's when you sign up for our VIP club. Oh, our nice. VIP family. We love bring you in and do a little celebration. Love it. Love it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So I've been running in this and wearing it to work. You know, walking on the concrete for eight hours. Yeah. I just don't feel anything by the end of the day because it's just so padded. Yeah. But I think this planter currently flared up. It flared up in basically July, and I think it flared up because I was running 14ers and like big, you know, mountain runs. Solomon shoes, very aggressive not taking care of the feet enough. I think that's what caused it. Because did you get the flare up before you switched to road? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're doing all that vert too. Yeah. And I don't know how, yeah. I mean, that can that can really cause it a lot too. I know that a lot of like mountain ultra runners have issues in their Achilles region just because yeah. you're climbing so much and that's so much torque through that heel and up into that soleus region. Yep. It's kind of unavoidable and, sometimes. And not stretching enough and not mm -hmm. just, you know, maintenance. Yeah. Um, and doing the right kind of strength work and exercise to keep that area strengthened enough to do all that climbing. So it's what, it's November 23rd? No, what is it? 21st? So I would... The season for 2018 racing isn't quite over, so my break, like I'm planning a, basically a two-week break, YouTube, in December, but I don't want to stop yet. So I'm basically trying to push off the rest until basically like mid-December. So I'm hoping, that's why I'm trying to experiment and figure out what to do. Yeah, I mean, I would really try these. Um, just give them a chance and get used to them, just yeah. because, I mean, I know that you know everybody's different, but I've seen so many success stories with people recovering from planner in this kind of a shoe, this maximum cushion, just at least for recovering from the planner, and then you can go kind of back to a lower volume shoe. But yeah. this is just, I mean, from my personal experience and from a lot of people I've helped, this has done a really nice job. I mean, so many stories of people just feeling better. That's cool. Thank you for helping. <laughs> Guys, look at this, look at this pile of shoes. Uh, they're not, they're, there's a lot of them. <laughs> Love it. Uh, cool. Well, you guys, Roadrunner Sports, check them out wherever. Well, you're definitely on the West Coast because you started in San Diego, but also Chicago, I believe. So, good stuff. Just to make sure the sizes are. match before we let them leave the building. I always like to double check. I know. There's so many guys are busy today, so. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Jessica, taking care of me. Thank you, Jessica, at Roadrunner Sports. You're amazing. Hey. High five. Boom. Already. Amazing. Got that planner feeling better. Right. She had planner. I have planner. We're going to figure this out. Thank you. All right, guys. All right. Have All right. a good day. You too. Thank you. Bye. Oh, my goodness. We got some goods, guys. We got some goods. Oh, traded in the Levitate 2s for the Hulk Eclipse and 5s. Thank you, Pat. Thanks, Patrick. Yeah, you too. Go get Alex. Oh, wow. Hey, I left my phone in my car. Oh, that's all right. So I just went back and got it. And I was like, oh, shoot. All right, guys. Picked up Alex. What's up? 
You remember Alex from the back country finishing, man, that was like the coldest run of our lives. That was a crazy race. That was a crazy race. All right, Alex, what are you running in today? Um, peg 35s. Peg 35s, no turbo. No turbo. Just me. peg 35. Alex, what did you pick up earlier in the week? Uh, had to go for it, break the bank, and uh, <laughs> some of the 4%s. That's right. You got the vapor fly, 4% fly nits, and uh, get to use them tomorrow in the race. Race tomorrow, got a couple, couple test runs in them. Excellent. Nice. Yeah. Well, it's always nice to, you, know, you, you runners know, like running solo can get a little lonely sometimes. So, that's a lot of miles, <laughs> a lot of time to think. So it's nice to uh, have someone to chat with pound ground together. Yeah, awesome weather as well. Oh man, can't beat it. Woo. Hi Pop. Oh, Hi Pop. Hi. You never know what you're gonna find on your run. Look at this guy, what is he doing? Hi, Bob. Where is the owner? I don't know. Where is the, where is the owner? That is the question. The dog is ready for Halloween. That is hilarious. The dog is just sitting on a stump with ski goggles on. Oh man. What will they think of next? Just this morning, we uh, passed 5,000 subscribers. Oh, nice. Shout out to all the new subscribers. Thank you for pushing us over the 5,000 mark. It's crazy. Well, you up and up. Up and up. Onward and upward. All right, Alex. All right. Nice work. Thanks for the miles. Boom. We got her done. Enjoyable. Good little, luck tomorrow. Little shakeout run. Hope you guys have a good time at your turkey trot. I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of them. Yeah. All right, man. I'm gonna stretch it out. All right, life goals right here. Life, <laughs> life goals. Not, you know, not setting a PR in the 5K. It's touching the ground. Let's see it, Alex. Look at this. Now? Holy. Can anyone stretch like that? That's insane. <laughs> I, I don't. I'm not even gonna attempt because I don't want to embarrass myself. <laughs> Yeah, see that? That's about it right there. Hey, I give and up I've, a little bit of my flexibility I've, for some of your speed. I've actually got, I've actually improved in the last two yeah. weeks. It's uh, crazy. There it is. There it is. Okay, the keyword of the day is service. Service. Because today at Roadrunner Sports, I received incredible service from Patrick and from Jessica. Thank you both for taking care of me today with my plantar fasciitis issues. Guys, again, I'm not exaggerating too much when I say I was almost in tears at the store because I ran around in this shoe pain-free, pain-free. So I'm not gonna give you my initial impressions tonight. I'm gonna run around in it probably tomorrow afternoon after the turkey trot, probably Friday, probably Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I'm excited. Thank you, Jessica, for taking care of me today, for explaining, taking the time. You guys saw it in the store. She took the time to lay out the details of the Vongo, the New Balance Vongo, and the Hoka Clifton 5. She cross-compared the two, the specs, the different type of ride you're going to get underfoot. And I am just, I'm grateful. I'm on this Thanksgiving Eve and Thanksgiving Day when you're watching this, I'm grateful for the opportunity to shop at running shoe stores. Now, I do have a confession to make. I have a confession to make. Occasionally, occasionally, I order stuff from Running Warehouse, all right? And listen, I've got nothing against Running Warehouse. You know, they're a business, they gotta make money. But at the end of the day, I try to support local running shoe stores. And therefore, the question of the day is this. What is your go-to running shoe store that you shop at? Because I ask that question, and why? Why do you shop at that particular store? Service, location, pricing, uh, the employees, 
race series, all these different factors that go into running shoes, uh, selection. So why, what, sh what is your go-to running shoe store and why do you go there? Now, okay, like I grew up in Buena Vista, Colorado, two hours away from any running shoe store. So in high school, like we had to drive to, you know, to the big city to go get our running shoes. And yeah, it was a little bit of a challenge. Now you can order shoes online, but obviously, but getting into a running shoe store where you can test the shoe before you buy it is critical. It's critical for us runners. You know, like when you put on a shoe in a store and it's got the right fit, it's a heaven on earth. You're singing hallelujah. And therefore, that's how I felt when I put on the Hoka Clifton 5. And so that's why I'm giving the shout out, a big shout out, continued shout out to Roadrunner Sports for taking the time again to explain this shoe to me. So that's the question of the day. Thank you for answering. I love running shoe stores. I don't know about you, but I just love, frankly, like hanging out in there and just talking, geeking out on running shoes. All right, I digress. Happy Thanksgiving. Have a great turkey trot if you're out there trotting today. And yes, enjoy some pumpkin pie. I know I will. And of course, we will be back tomorrow with uh, results for the turkey trot. So, oh, the Vaporfly 4%, they're going to be they're going to be coming out again. You know they will be. All right. Seek beauty. Work hard. And love each other. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. See you tomorrow.